Welcome to Layers of Communication with your host, Lydia Taggart. Life presents experiences that add a layer to who we are and how we see the world, affecting how we communicate. Lydia is here to help you take apart the layers and create new ways to connect and build relationships. So now, please welcome the host of Layers of Communication, Lydia Taggart. Hello, my friends out there. Welcome to Layers of Communication. I'm your host, Lydia Taggart, and I'm so excited and happy for you to be here today. I've got some really great tips, a fabulous story to share with you. Just made my day yesterday. So, um, of course, this is Layers of Communication. We're working on relationships and communicating more effectively to be able to reach through all those layers and connect at the core. So, yesterday, I was spending some time with one of my boys, and he, uh, he's joined the wrestling team at school, and so I was picking him up from practice, and he gets in his bag, because he, he hadn't finished taking his wrestling shoes off yet and everything, so he's putting them back away in his bag, he opens it up, and he says, look, Mom, I've got all these socks in here. And my first thought is, ew, why are you carrying around dirty socks? Gross. But that wasn't it. They were clean socks, matched up and paired, and he's just carrying around all these extra socks. And so I was asking him, what's going on with the socks? Why are you carrying around all these socks? And he says, well, you never know when you might need an extra pair of socks. And I guess that's true, but you're not going camping or anything. This is just school. Why are we taking not just one pair of socks, but more than one pair of socks? in your bag with you. You have socks on your feet and more than one pair in your bag. And so he tells me this story about once last week, he accidentally wore the wrong color socks. He wore black socks, which is fine for school during the day. But when you get to wrestling, it's kind of not cool to wear your dress socks that are black to wrestle in. So he wanted to have some extra gym kind of socks and that made sense. I was like, well, what's this other pair of socks in here for? Why do you have so many socks? Well, these are my lucky socks, he says. My lucky socks. And I was like, you have lucky socks? What? Tell me about your lucky socks. They are his socks he got for Christmas. And um, he just, at Christmas, he got his first shaving kit. He's 13. And he's got some little whiskers growing and stuff. And so this package of shaving cream and a razor and all of this stuff came with a pair of socks <laughs> it's it's really fun to see how these different um mementos get just oh what's the word soaked in all these emotions and memories and feelings and so these socks for him are he's growing up, he's becoming a man, he is strong, he is independent, he is loved because they were given to him as a gift, and they're fun. They've got this crazy little pattern on them that are just funny. And so it's very empowering for him to wear these socks, is stepping in to who he wants to be, and I thought, wow, our feet are our foundation. What better lucky charm to have than a pair of socks? And, you know, I'm sure you're thinking, what does this have to do with any kind of relationship communication things, right? So we're going to talk about relationships and our lucky charms. Because even if you don't really believe in luck, you don't believe in having a charm bring you luck, what it does when you have something special like that, when we carry it around with us, or we just have something extra, extra yummy and loving in an item, like a pair of socks. And it's usually a memory and a, an emotion tied together into an item. So his socks are very special to him. And, you know, I could have said, ew, don't carry socks around, that's dumb. Why would you carry socks around? But instead, like we've encouraged you many times before, I encourage you again, pause and just listen. Ask a question 
and listen for the answer because most of the time has nothing to do with what we think it is. It, they, they're not even dirty, crunchy old socks. They're special to him. And because I love him, what is special to him then becomes special to me because he is special to me. So we pause and take that moment and just ask a question. And then I can see his value in that crazy weird thing. And I can branch off and expand that into my own world and say, oh yeah, I've got some things like that. But I remember when I was having my firstborn son, my mom brought me a pair of socks. Special go have a baby socks. And I wore them at the hospital. I didn't wear them until I was going to the hospital to have my firstborn son. And then um, each time I would wear special socks to go to the hospital because they're full of love and you step into that love and that safety and that, that peace that comes with someone giving you something. And that's really what a gift is, is someone sharing their love with you. Um, today I'm wearing my lucky shirt in honor of my son's lucky charms. And this shirt, although, you know, I'll just show you a little bit, is kind of worn down and you can't really tell what was on it before, but it's still special. And I know a lot of people who have special shirts that they never want to get rid of. So if you're one of these people who are like, ew, get rid of it, let's clean it up. Pause for a minute, ask why it's special. Think about how important that person is to you and maybe they can have one or two special things that they just get to keep and have. So this, this shirt um, is special to me because it was the shirt that we all had a matching shirt, my family, as we, uh, we did our fundraiser for my brother before he passed away with his cancer. We had a fundraiser and we all wore these matching shirts with his picture on them. So it's very special to me and I feel very comforted and loved and supported. I know that he's on the other side as one well of my angels. And there are special things that we can step into that bond us more tightly when we have just a little bit more understanding. We can call them our lucky charms. We can call them whatever you want. This is my lucky shirt. And my son's got his lucky socks. So what do you have that's lucky, that gives you that extra support? Is it um, a hairdo? Maybe it's a hairbrush or a special toothbrush. I know lots of families, my family has this tradition too, lots of families get a new toothbrush every Christmas. And then um, I was listening to, I'm forgetting her name. Sorry, Fly Lady. She has a special jar that was given to her by someone who was in the military, a veteran. And so every time she uses that jar, she has prayer for the people who are serving our country in the military. And you can do that too. And um, okay, every time that I wear this shirt, I hadn't thought about it before. I, I heard... I think her name's Marlene. I think, I think that's her name. Anyway, I heard her talk about every time she uses it, that she has a little prayer for the veterans and the people serving our country. And I thought, you know what? Every time I put this shirt on, I do have a little prayer in my heart of my brother and his son, who is still trying to grow up without a father, you know? And there are, there are just special things that bring other moments to our mind. So today, our fun homework for today, this week, is going to be super duper fun. And it's going to be simple and maybe a little bit cheesy, but that's what makes it more fun, right? So find something that you can call your lucky charm. Find a memory or create a new one that you can have to go, yeah, this helps me. This supports me. This 
feeds my soul with a little bit more spark of joy, a little bit more confidence, a little bit more calm and calm and I already said confidence. Confidence is really important. Just a little bit more love when you have that memory and that support in your life. And so many times, so many times, all the negative voices get to us and they say, you can't or you shouldn't or who would want to, what do you think you're doing? Who do you think you are? Stuff like that, all that yucky negative lies. You pull in a positive, have a tangible item that you can physically see to remind you. It's easier to remember something that is visible than to try and wade through all of that other yuck in our mind and find the one happy thought that can combat all the negatives. So go ahead, get something. It doesn't have to be a big thing. It doesn't have to be huge. It can be little. We have um, jewelry. It could be a piece of jewelry. It could be a note that you tape on the mirror. Um, for a while, I carried around in my pocket a, a little note that my brother wrote to me. Excuse me. Oh my goodness. It's so touching. Um, still to this day, when I, was in, um, when I was in junior high, my brother, who was two years younger than me, about two years younger than me, he wrote me this note and he said, thank you. Just thank you for being there. It wasn't a card. Everything was spelled wrong. But he, he said, thank you for being there and loving me. And I knew that I had a purpose in this world. There is someone in your life who you have touched as well, that you can have that memory to support you and know that you are important. And all of those negative chitter chatter around you, they don't mean a thing because you have something inside of you that you can surround yourself with that memory and that love and take something this is, I think this is where pet rocks came into play. Somebody gave someone a pet rock because they didn't have anything else to give them. And that became something special. And you can take your little pet rock or whatever it is with you, a paper clip, anything. Remind yourself how important you are. You do make a difference. People love you. I love you. And you are awesome. And you can give one to your loved ones so if I um, if I had thought of this before my son taught me about the uh, lucky charms a lucky yeah it's his lucky charm his lucky socks if I had thought of this before I could have given him a pair of socks or something and socks are awesome socks I think are my favorite lucky thing because you can step into who you are and surround your foundation that support for the rest of you, your feet, take you where you're gonna go. They, they are everything. Your feet are amazing. Let's wrap them up in a special sock, a special something. And they make so many different kinds of fun socks nowadays. So that's our homework for this week. If you have someone that you can give a special pair of socks to, I encourage you to do that. If you have special socks, that you can make for yourself to be your own lucky something, that's what we're gonna do. And remember, you are worth it, and so are they. I'm Lydia Taggart, and this is Layers of Communication, helping you connect and get through all those layers so we can be connected at the core. All right, have a good one. See you later. You've been listening to Layers of Communication with your host, Lydia Taggart. Tune in next week as we discover the layers in order to communicate and connect down to your core on Lydia Taggart's Layers of Communication.